turn now to our national correspondent, Christine Frizzow. She is live in Washington, D.C., no doubt full of tension this morning with when all of this is expected to unfold. Good morning, Christine. Well, good morning, Megan. The White House has announced an event at the White House Rose Garden 10 a.m. this morning. We expect to hear the president, have him sign that legislation, but that is also where we expect him to declare a national emergency. On this vote, the A's are 300, the nays are 128. After a tense back and forth between the White House and Capitol Hill, a deal, and all that's left is the president's signature. It includes $1.375 billion for 55 miles of new border barriers, funding for 75 new immigration judges, money for humanitarian aid, improved technology at the ports of entry, and hundreds of new Customs and Border Protection personnel. It's far less than the $5.7 billion the president wanted. Am I happy at first glance? I just got to see it. The answer is no. A mixed reaction from Republican lawmakers on the next steps forward. And I've indicated to him that I'm going to prepare, I'm going to support the national emergency declaration. Doing that in order to reprogram money from the Department of Defense or from disaster risk recovery, um, I think is an incredibly bad idea. Democrats and others warning of the precedent declaring a national emergency may set. The Republicans should have some dismay about the door that they are opening, the threshold they are crossing. President Elizabeth Warren or whomever uh, might say there's a climate emergency, there's a health care emergency, and then put in whatever uh, policies uh, are on their wish list. Now we heard from top Democrats yesterday afternoon. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and Speaker Pelosi put out a joint statement saying, quote, declaring a national emergency would be a lawless act, a gross abuse of the power of the presidency. But for its part, the White House says, you know, it's prepared. They say the president was just doing his job. Live on Capitol Hill, I'm Christine Frizzell. Megan, back to you.